Hey guys, welcome to Tech with Aman. And in this video, we'll look what are consumer offsets and how these consumer offsets are maintained. And uh, like uh, there can be scenarios where messages are being reprocessed or missed due to wrong handling of these consumer offsets. We will also discuss those scenarios. And we will also uh, discuss what are the types of commits for offsets. Okay, and I have created few more videos regarding Kafka. You can check those in i button. And if you like the channel, so please uh, consider subscribing. So let's start. So first is like what are consumer offsets? So for this, let's uh, take an example. Yeah, so this is an old example from old video. So basically what we have here is here a producer is producing to these partitions which are like spread over three brokers and these are the partitions and our producer let's say we only one producer and it, it is producing to these uh, different partitions okay you can check these partitions producer broker videos in i button okay so basically these uh, messages are assigned numbers so these numbers are called producer offsets producer offsets so let's say one of our consumers join uh, a topic so from where this uh, like uh, consumer start reading the data like which offset so basically in starting it can read from the last offset last produced offset or it can uh, start reading from the starting offset so this is the topic for some different video so let's say our consumer started uh, reading from the offset 1 and it has read up to offset 5 and it dies and some other consumers comes in let's say it dies and consumer 2 comes in so how did this consumer 2 know like from where do i have to start reading it will not start reading from the one offset 1 because uh, like it will reprocess the messages so there should be some mechanism where we the producer uh, this consumer too should know from where to read so this information is stored in offset topic so this topic basically holds the information where it contains partition num partition information group information and offset information so basically this group uh, this partition the partition of this group has this offset so basically whenever this consumer 2 comes in it will provide its group let's say it's g1 so it will go to g1 and partition is p1 so it will go to p1 and it it will get the offset 5 so we we should have already like stored this offset 5 here so this is the offset which we need to store so whenever the consumer is reading from in uh, from some partition it can store this offset every time okay so let's say it have read the message 6 then it store then uh, offset there it has read message 7 it will store the offset so this way if it went down next consumer will come then it will know that from where do i have to start reading the messages so this is the funda of uh, offsets yeah so i as i have told that these offsets are stored in some special topic uh, this is named as consumer underscore offsets so here it will in store information about partition and uh, group and offset okay these three information will be stored here so whenever a new consumer joins some partition with some group then it will know its offset from here and when reading from the uh, from the topic it can update this offset we, we will discuss these strategies about the update in later points yeah so it is the responsibility of the consumer to produce offset message to the about topic so it is the responsibility of the consumer so whenever it is fetching data its responsibility of the consumer or the application which need to update the offset in this topic after rebalance new consumer pick current offset from this topic so as i have already mentioned that 
when our new consumers comes up it will ask this topic like from where do i start from where do i start reading these messages from which offset so it will provide the offset and it will start reading from there okay so while doing these things like we can have scenarios where we can reprocess or miss some messages okay so let's discuss this in diagram so let's see how we can reprocess the events so here we have okay so in current scenario we have two uh, offsets like last committed offset which is, which is being stored in this offset topic and currently processing offset this is known by the application which is processing this okay so and in this poll we got these messages from 5 to 9 and we are processing the ninth message and after this we will commit this last committed offset to 9 okay but we have not done that and our application crashes okay so the new consumer let's say c2 comes in it will ask the offset topic like from where should i start reading uh, messages from this topic and partition okay so it will say like you should start reading from 2 because it has the last information about the committed offset that is 2 okay so this consumer will go and it will let's say poll 5 messages from 2 to 6 okay and it will start processing these messages so the currently processing offset will be here here then here here and here so these let's say or and these messages are already processed so this like from the the messages from last committed offset to the currently processing offset will be reprocessed okay you understand because we do not this updated this last commit offset uh, timely due to which these messages will be reprocessed okay and uh, let's say the consumer dies here and we have still not updated the last commit offset then let's say c3 comes in it will also get the uh, offset 2 and it will also like reprocess these uh, messages so we need a solid uh, committing solid committing uh, strategy here so that the our messages will not be reprocessed okay and uh, also let's see the next scenario where we can have event missed so in this case also we have last let's say we polled data from the event uh, we polled data using consumer and the consumer polled data and it updated the last commit offset from uh, with the uh, largest offset it get in the data okay that is 10 this is the polling data poll data and la latest like largest uh, offset is 10 so it committed this as last commit offset okay and it start processing from here okay and while processing this let's say this consumer dies then c2 will come and c2 will ask like from where should i start processing and the consumer offset topic will provide the number 10 like you should start from 10 offset 10 so it will start from offset 10 and it will pull the messages after that and as you can see these messages will not get processed these will be missed and these will not be processed so from these two examples we come to know that we need to like commit this offset uh, like very carefully so that we do not miss uh, miss any messages or reprocess any messages so for that we can do is like whenever we are processing we commit the uh, offset of that uh, that uh, message or like some other strategy let's discuss these strategies okay so we have discussed the missed and reproduce uh, reprocess so we have discussed the reprocess and miss messages scenarios so we'll be discussing next we'll be discussing what are the type of commits so first is auto commit so how auto commit works is basically whenever we poll the data so 
the largest uh, offset of that poll data gets committed so basically let's say we have got message from 0 to 99 then 99 will get committed as latest offset and uh, let's say we are processing and our uh, our consumer uh, like uh, fails at uh, offset 1 then new consumer will come and it will start from 99 so here the problem of missed message will come so this is the problem with the auto commit so next is manual commit so in manual commit what we can do is we can we need to manually commit the offset so what we can do is here is like uh, let's say i have poll data and data came from 0 to 99 and i like whenever i fully process this batch let's say whenever i have completed process 99 messages after that i commit the offset 99 okay so this can happen in uh, manual commit we can use that but the problem here will be like uh, if consumer dies at message let's say 30 then the messages uh, whenever the new consumer c2 comes in it will start from uh, we have not committed any uh, still not committed any because our process was not complete so it will start reading from 0 so message from 0 to 30 will get reprocessed so the problem of reprocessing will be there so to take the full control of these what we can do is we can like uh, uh, whenever we poll the message let's say 99 and we are processing message 0 message 1 message 2 so each time we can like uh, commit the offset like let's say we have completed processing message 0 we uh, update the offset to 0 let's say this is offset topic so we update the offset 0 offset 1 offset 2 so there will be like large amount of uh, request to this offset uh, topic but the here we will not like have the problem of uh, reprocessing or uh, that uh, missed uh, message so these problems will be like solved here okay so we have in manual commit we can have two types of commit basically uh, sync commit and async commit so what happens in sync commit is like whenever we goes to for committing our consumer is waiting for the response acknowledgement from for that commit okay and uh, so here the problem is the throughput will decrease so basically we will be processing less messages in the given time frame because we are waiting for the response from the uh, like uh, consumer offset topic in sync commit okay and the second approach is async commit so in async commit like whenever we process some message and we throw the uh, throw this uh, offset to be committed asynchronously the commit process will be asynchronous so we are free to consume the next message so our throughput will increase but the offset was not updated and we will not get that exception or anything else in synchronous so we, we might have problems here so while implementing we like uh, balance these things like we can use hybrid approach we can uh, sync commit some things and async commit other things so we can use that uh, approach and like uh, get our uh, get maximum throughput from our application okay so i think that's all for this video and uh, it's a quite long video so hope you understand things let let's summarize these things for once so consumer offsets are stored in special topic which is called consumer underscore offset topic and uh, this topic basically is updated by the consumer itself whenever it reads message like it's up to the consumer when when we, it want to update these offsets and whenever a new consumer comes in and uh, this, it will like uh, uh, ask from this consumer offset topic from where should I start uh, reading the messages and uh, like uh, there can be scenarios of reprocess and miss messages and we also discussed about the type of commits so highest offset of latest poll result is committed automatically here we can have problem of uh, miss message here and in manual commit we can control the commit which we want to do in synchronous and asynchronous method okay so if you like the video please do consider subscribing and please like the video share with others
थैंक यू